Converge or diverge, sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, parentheses 2n plus 1 to the nth power over n to the 2nth power. We see that we have n in the exponent here and here, so let's give the root test a try. The ratio test might work, but we know that if we take the nth root of this expression, we will be able to cancel out the n in the exponent here and here, so that's very nice. And this is how the root test goes. We first say, let's check, and we'll take the limit. We take the limit as n goes to infinity, and we take the nth root and also the absolute value of this expression. And to write down the work, I can just put down check as n goes to infinity. You don't necessarily have to write down the LIM, n goes to infinity. This is legit as well, at least for my class, by the way. Anyways, we're taking the limit, and then we have to take the nth root, and we also apply an absolute value. Okay, and then we put this inside, so we have 2n plus 1 to the nth power over n to the 2n, like this. Be sure you set out the absolute value to begin with, but then in our case, everything inside is positive, so the absolute value doesn't matter. I'm going to just get rid of that right now. And then we know when we take the nth root, it's the same as dividing the exponent by n, divide this exponent by n. So on the top, once again, I'm dropping the absolute value. We will just have parentheses 2n plus 1 to the nth power. But then for the nth root, we divide this exponent by n. Likewise, on the denominator, we will have n to the 2n. And then once again, the nth root, we have to divide this exponent by n. So this is what we have right here. I haven't run check for a while. <laughs> Anyways, this is what we have, and then n over n is just 1. On the top, we have 2n plus 1. Over, on the bottom, n over n is out, so we have just n squared. And you see, we are just doing algebra right here, so that's why we put down equal sign, equal sign. And then we are going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. When n goes to infinity, on the top right here, we just care about the 2n. Likewise, on the bottom, it's just n squared. So this right here is approaching to 2n over n squared, and then we can simplify this. This is the same as 2 over n, and as n goes to infinity, we have 2 over infinity, so we can say this is approaching to 0. Right now, we have to remember, what can we say after we get the limit right here when we're doing the root test? This is the limit that we have, which is 0. When we're doing the root test, the only number that you don't want to see is 1. When you have 0, this is good. You have to tell me 0 is less than 1. Okay? If you end up right here, the limit is 1, then the root test is inconclusive. But then the limit right here that we got is 0, and 0 is less than 1. That's good. And we can say that by the root test, the original series converges. So at the end, I'm just going to write down the conclusion. So we are going to conclude the original. So I'll write it down again. Sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 2n plus 1 to the nth power over n to the 2n. This right here converges by the root test. That's it.